American International Pictures had a great deal of success in distributing Mario Bava films like Black Sunday and Black Sabbath, as well as plenty of sword and sandal films. However, AIP heads Samuel Z. Arkoff and James H. Nicholson ultimately decided to co-produce their future films so they would have more control over the production. They co-produced Planet of the Vampires with several other international production companies, and it was written by Ib Melchior. Like with most Italian productions, it was pushed to have everyone speak in their native languages and have everything dubbed later on. Due to lack of budget, Bava couldn't do any optical effects, so everything had to be done in camera, which resulted in very creative effects in filmmaking. Many years after this was released, and as I stated in my It the Terror from Beyond Space review, this was one of the many inspirations for Alien, mainly with the crew finding the gargantuan alien in its ship dead to be the inspiration partly for the scene where the crew of the Nostromo finds the engineer, as well as many ideas from Planet of the Vampires being prevalent in Ridley Scott's later film, Prometheus. I actually didn't know before watching this that this was yet another inspiration for Alien. I can definitely see it in a, quite a few areas, but similar to It, the Terror from Beyond Space, the vast majority of the movie felt bland and boring. It felt like a higher budgeted Star Trek episode, but without the heart that made the original series so good. I really love the sets, mainly the ship. While they are a bit too vast and big with only a tiny amount of equipment in them, I really like the look of them. They just have this great sci-fi feel to them that only a movie in the 50s slash 60s could execute properly. I also like the look of the actual planet, and even though it looks like a set, again, it has a charm to it I like. Only thing bad I have to say on the technical side are the outfits, which are pretty stupid looking. In terms of inspiration though, I most definitely see Prometheus in there with the giant aliens that some of the crew find that seem to be ages old, as I stated before. However, as a whole, this was just an absolute slog to get through. None of the characters were at all interesting, the plot had little for me to care about, the villains were a neat idea but still felt a bit one note, and nothing got me interested in the movie. While watching, I just had trouble keeping my eyes open. Or it's entirely possible that this just isn't my thing. I do, however, applaud it for inspiring such great films later on. And I do recommend it based on that means, but there is little for me to sink my teeth into. Pun intended. As well as the, uh, twist ending, it was a lot better executed in Planet of the Apes. Just saying.